Hi there, this is Spitfire with Game Mode 5. Today I'd like to talk to you about Multi Minecraft Manager. What this allows you to do is have all of your mods installed side by side regardless of what Minecraft version they're in and there's no more need to back up your mods so you can play the most recent version of another mod or if you're looking to install a snapshot you can keep everything separate and you can do so in a very nice easy way. Now. What I'd like to show you is how to install it. Now, what we'd like to do is go ahead and open up our browser. You should see this link in the description below. You're going to want to scroll down the page just a little way. Find the Windows version, or if you're on a Mac, that is also available. Download the .exe installer. Save that. Once that's installed, you can simply double click the installer from your downloads folder. It may ask you to verify that you would in fact like to run this, just simply click yes. The first screen, simply click next after reading the text on the screen. The default destination folder should be fine. Click install. Now click close. What you should notice is now on your desktop you will have a multi Minecraft manager icon as I have here. The first time you double click this, it will ask you to select your Minecraft application. Simply make sure you're looking at your desktop, scroll down until you find your Minecraft executable. Click open. Now what it has done is it's actually added your default Minecraft into the multi Minecraft manager system. You can add a new instance by clicking this button. You can name them. So for instance, if you had one that had the Aether in it, you can simply name it Aether, then click OK. You can add a new instance. You can do this many, many times. One thing that I would like to show you is, for instance, I have Adventure Tech. Click OK. Now, the very first thing you're going to want to do when adding one of these instances, you're going to want to double click login for the first time. Now what it's going to do is it's going to very quickly patch everything together, download the latest Minecraft version. And there we go. As you can see it's running 1.4.2 as that is the most recent version at this time. Now we can close that out and should you have any extra, alright what we're going to do now is we're going to right click our instance and we will go to open folder it will open something looking like this now should you have some pre-existing backups of mods simply moving them over is very simple as you can see here I will minimize this window for the purposes of this demonstration As you can see, I have a backup of another mod that I'm working with. Simply, I would click and drag over. Now, working with mods that you have not prepackaged is just as easy. All you need to do is simply mod them as you would normally do. Now, once this has completed, we can close both windows. When we double click our adventure tech, window. We will tell it not to update as this is a modded client and does not run on 1.4.2. And as you can see here, we are running Adventure Tech 0.2.2 by Glixel. You can do this with as many mods as you'd like and keep them all separate. Like, subscribe, comments please.